hope you're all doing very well. Today's makeup look is going to be a very fresh faced, kind of springy makeup, although we're still in winter, but it has been so dark, so gloomy lately, so I really, I am craving for something that will give life back to my face. So that is what today's makeup look will be about, so let's get right into it. For base makeup, I'm going to be using the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream or X today. Haven't used this in a while on camera, and I just want a little bit of more today. Just a little bit more than just concealer. For concealer, I'm going to be using my usual Catrice Camouflage Cream to cover up my circles, my dark circles, as well as like this little like mark as well as on my chin I'm not going to set it because I like this more glowy kind of look so I'm jumping straight into bronzer I've been using this Physicians Formula bronzer very well again I have kind of fallen back in love with it I guess <laughs> I feel like it's a color that gives the perfect amount of healthiness and warmth without looking too orange and I don't know it just blends very easily and it's one of my favorites in terms of powder ones for my cheeks I want to mix two shades one that is very springy and one that is it's also springy it's just cool toned I'm going to be mixing these two blushes together I think I'll apply a little bit of this one first will I? Yeah, I'll apply a little bit of this one first and then top it off with the more cool tone shade. Now just a little bit on one side of the brush and lightly go over it. For highlighter, I only want to highlight my nose and a little bit of my cupid's bow, so I'm taking the Jelly Pop highlighter and keep the cheeks matte. For the eye makeup, I have really been enjoying something that looks more clear and very light in shade, so not too much definition on a day-to-day. -day. So I'm going to be using the Twinkle Pop palette and especially this shade right here. It's kind of like a good shade to set, but it's more interesting than a usual matte because it has a little bit of shimmer in it or like glitter. I do recommend though that you tap instead of going like this because it is more of loose glitter. I think it will go everywhere if you are a little bit too hectic all over, so I would recommend a soft, light tapping motion. To brighten my inner corners, I'm actually going to be using this pale shade from the Digital Future palette from BH. And add a little bit here. I'm going to go back into the blush just a little bit with the same brush again. It's not too pigmented, so it'll give just the tiniest little bit of a more like pink, peachy kind of look. And I'm going right over my eyelid, very lightly. On camera, it's probably not even going to show up that much, but in real life, it just gives that soft wash of color that I have been just obsessed with. I don't know if you can even tell the difference. And the reason I'm going with a fluffy brush is simply because it'll look like a wash of color. To make this look a bit more sparkly, I'm going to be using this middle shade. I'm going to be doing my eyeliner, but I'm going to keep it rather short, not like a full-on wing. I'm going to be smudging it out with this darker shade. Going to be applying some mascara and trying to make it look as neat as possible. Really trying to coat each lash without 
adding too much so that it'll look clumpy. So I think one coat should be perfect. What I always do to get an immediate kind of perfect result is I twist the brush. So it deposits more product, but it also coats each lash in the shape of it and not like when you wiggle and zigzag that you put product more like messily all over this way you really coat each lash so they don't look very dramatic but they just look so pretty and defined I'm going to be filling in my brows very lightly and adding a clear brow mascara on top. For the lips, I'm first going to line them. This is totally optional, I just do it because I have a pretty uneven upper lip. And I'm going to be using two lipsticks and finishing off with a gloss. I know, it's high maintenance today. <laughs> First going in with Cream Cup by MAC. I'm only going to be dabbing it on, not swiping it on because I don't want it to look too pale. And I'm also going to keep it more on the outer part. And then for the inside, I'm going to be applying Runway Hit, also by MAC. This one is such a nice light peachy kind of color. It does have a lot of white in it, which I think makes it just that perfect kind of peachy nude shade. I really enjoy it. I mean, I've used quite a bit of it. I don't use it that much anymore because I find it a little bit too warm toned. Such a pretty color if this is something you like. You can totally leave it like this, just matte. But I'm going to be applying just a little bit of gloss. I'm taking the Lifter Gloss in the shade Moon. Uh, this is going to make the lips look extra juicy. Since this gloss has cool tone shimmer in it and it's more of like a mid-tone kind of pink, I think it tones down a little bit of that peach color. It makes it look a bit more natural, like I feel like with the gloss it looks a bit better. And that you guys completes this warm kind of fresh spring makeup look. I just hope that you try this type of look and just see how immediately your mood will lift up. Every time you look into the mirror you'll be like, ah. Oh, that looks so good. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye!